Well, good evening again, everybody. And tonight, I am not going to tell you a bedtime story. April Fools. Or am I? Am I really playing a trick on you? Because you know what? I am not going to tell you a bedtime story. Maybe I am going to tell you a bedtime story. Maybe what we're doing tonight is a little bit different. A couple weeks ago, we had read a story. What was it? Time for Bed, Old House. And there, in, in the story, gr the grandfather told the little boy that he could read a book by himself by reading the pictures. Um, and I said, you know, a lot of my favorite books are written that way. They don't have any words. You have to tell the story by reading the pictures. Now, since it's April Fool's Day, it's a little bit different. What better time to, to flip story time on its head and do something a little bit different? We're going to try to read the pictures of a bedtime book today. This is, well, it's a new bedtime book in America. It's called While You Are Sleeping, and it's by Mariana Ruiz Johnson. Mariana Ruiz Johnson lives in Argentina. That is way down south in, in South America from here, in a country where most of the people speak Spanish. She speaks Spanish too. That's a cool thing about, you could see in her, her little dedication at the end. It's in Spanish to her family. Um, and that's the cool thing about wordless books. Words without stories, they can be read in any language. It doesn't matter if you know the language or not. It doesn't matter if you know Spanish, you can still read this book. And in fact, she put this book into an international contest of illustrators from all over the world to illustrate a wordless picture book, a picture book without words that anyone in the world could read because it's just pictures. And that's what she did, and she won the contest uh, several years ago, but it finally got published in the United States um, last year, and this is on our new bookshelf right now if you want, if you want to check it out. It's called While You Are Sleeping, and as you see, we have to read the pictures of this story. I will let you tell some of it, but I will help you along by uh, pointing out things that may maybe you should, should think about. This book is called While You Are Sleeping, Mariana Ruiz Johnson. First. All stories start with the cover, while you are sleeping. Here's someone sleeping. What is going to happen while they are sleeping? Hmm. What's happening in this picture? You start, little boy, is he sleeping? No, his eyes are open. He's looking up here. Is that mom? Maybe it's mom. What's mom doing? She's holding. Same thing we're doing right now. Holding a book. Let's see, what does, what is that book about? There's, there's a campfire. There's lots of animals dancing around and singing and playing. That's their bedtime story. Anything else you want to say about this page? Let's turn the page and see. Now is he sleeping. Now he's sleeping. There goes mom with the book. Who else is in this picture? There's an owl. Is the owl sleeping? No, the owl doesn't sleep at night. There we go. Oh, there, there he is sleeping. There's a lot of other people in this picture, and, and not very many of them are sleeping. The mom went downstairs, she's having a drink of wine with dad. 
And there's an owl sitting there. But there's a bird up on this roof. And a cat chasing a mouse. A girl riding a bike. And there are some animals playing instruments on the roofs. Do those animals look familiar to you? Hmm. Oh, we move on out in this picture. And we see more of the town, and lots of the town is awake, even though it is nighttime. He is sleeping. Oh, mom and dad are kissing. So there's people talking at the restaurant. Somebody's cooking. We got the towel. We got somebody reading a book over here. Some people dancing over here. But one of them's a bird. Uh, cars driving. This bird's flying. Hey, the animals are looking down. There's some more animals down here. Oh, oh, that girl is not holding on to the, the railings on her bike. Is she gonna have an accident? Hmm. Somebody watching the stars. Looks like she's got an easel for painting. Oh, there's there's a hospital. They look like they're feeling sick. Oh, well, she's got a baby. And the baby's crying. And oh, she can't get the baby to go to sleep. Let's see what's on the next page. There's a lot going on in this picture. You could probably tell a story about every single person on this page. Because we've got further, there's more people out here now. People play, having parties on the roof. Oh, he fell asleep though over his book. More people are sleeping now, not just him. He's fall asleep, got some people leaving. Oh, the girl who's riding the bike, I don't see her anymore. But he's still watching the stars. And she's painting a picture now. Oh, looks like this mom is trying to fall asleep, but the baby doesn't want to. Oh, there's more people sad at the hospital, but wait a second. Look at those funny animals again. Climbing up the roofs, going out. What, what could that thing be that they're carrying out into the water? out. You see the airplane. You see the boys sleeping. Some people walk, walking the dogs. Look, nobody's in the restaurant anymore. She finally got the baby to sleep. And it's all quiet. There are those animals rowing out to sea on a red boat. There they are. Getting pretty far out, there's lots of fish there. As they rode, they sang. Look at, at least the bird is singing, I love. Do, do you look, if you look at that picture, do you think, you know, how are they feeling right now? Do you think they're scared to be on the ocean? Or are they all pretty relaxed and smiling, and having a good time? Saying, hey, look out there. Do you ever figure out where you've seen those animals before? Oh, there they are. They pulled up on shore. They got out of the boat. They're carrying torches to see through their way through the night. Oh, look, somebody some just let some, set some birds free. There's a snake. They're gonna set up camp for the night. They've got a nice tent, stars all in the sky with their flashlights, and now they're going to dance and sing and play music around the fire. Does that look familiar to you? Where did we see that before? Was that the story she was reading? Is it really happening while he's asleep? the bedtime story. What do you think? There they are, dancing and singing, the animals of the bedtime story, all around the fire.
and they dance around the fire until, look at that, is that the fire or is that the sun coming up? Uh-oh, what's that mean then? Is that the sun? Oh, he's looking at her picture from last night. Oh, and the baby is awake again, but the mommy's got some sleep. And we, we got seagulls coming in. The nurse is still working at the hospital. Oh, there's a little girl in this window. I don't think we noticed her before. Maybe she was already sleeping when he was sleeping. He's still sleeping. Is he going to wake up yet? All the seagulls come perched on the roof. Uh oh, somebody's coming in the room. Oh, it's mommy and daddy, and it's time to wake up now. Hey, look, his pajamas have fish on them that look an awful lot like the fish in the water when the animals crossed in their boat. What do you think? How there goes the seagulls flying away. Do you think the animals in the book came out of the book to go dancing in the moonlight? Or do you think the book was telling a true story about the animals in the town who really did that? Or do you think it was all something that our main character sleeping here was dreaming? We don't know. You know. You may not think you know, but you do know because you are in charge of telling the story. I helped you out a little bit because I, I can't hear you right now. You can only see me. But you can tell the story. You know what's going on. I bet you can decide what this story is about. Close your eyes, go to sleep, dream. See if you dream about bedtime stories. Do you think that's what happens while you're asleep? Good night.